Alright, man, so we back again with another video. <coughs> I'm sorry, I've been trying to deal with this goddamn, um, the fever. Well, I'm over a fever now. I, I'm just, I'm just fucking backed up on mucus and shit. But, we ain't here for that. Um, the most, uh, the dangerous, <coughs> We just gonna get into this. We got the most dangerous city in America. Man, we turn shit the cold slot. Right Run down, down both deep, deep them. The boys ain't, ain't see no car. Desensitized murders in these hoods, bro. Like every hood I go to, you people almost talk about murder on laugh. I done seen people die. Death easier than what we living in right now. Times we, we smoke big woods out that we hear something about murder. It's wild out here. Reckon you have a fear of death? So I'd be scared to die. If everybody don't want meet Jesus and see who he is, everybody don't want meet God, why you scared to die? Bro, let's say if one of your ops gave his life to God, just we want some of the guy. <laughs> you live by the street, you die by the car. You gonna be a killer, I'ma tell you. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. This man said, so what if one of your in your enemies gave his life to God? We gonna send him up to God. That is a fucked up shit to say right there. I mean, I won't even know if it's like. I mean, I guess it's what comes with living that street life, bro. You're the right way to do it. Just listen to this shit. Don't be out to my phone and shit. This younger guy has like 13, 14, 15 <laughs> pair of big guns. So these, these are prop guns. 16. Yeah. And you got some shot in the chest. Yeah. Now, when you come in this bitch, they got a sign that says, you're going to your own wrist. This is treacherous. This is slowing. Check this out. I'm gonna show you how I afforded this car. Okay, you ready? All right, 118. Bitches ain't stopping till they hit something. We know what come with this shit. Like, if one die, somebody else gotta die. Somebody gotta be the bad guy. This time, I'm in the state of Louisiana. I'll be going to the trenches and seeing how they really live and to get an insight what it's really like living in the most murderous state in the whole of America. In Baton Rouge, there's 200,000 people. Real quick. In London, there's 9 million. There's been more murders in Baton Rouge than there has in London. Every day, hanging out at the store. For real. Peace out. What's the name, bro? Leo. Hold that leadership. Aaron, nice to meet you, bro. You know, it's peace out there. I ain't even got to say too much. What up? And, bro, the reason I came to Louisiana as a state was because of the murder rate being the highest in the city. Well, in the, in the country, sorry. Hey, Louisiana is a safe or a dangerous state. Man, this bitch, just like anywhere else, it ain't no such thing as safe. Because I could leave from down here, go somewhere else and get you. Oh, shit. It's just like anywhere, you know? This bitch, just like anywhere else. And do you have to keep your head at a swivel, on a swivel 24 7? Most definitely. Most diff. We ain't the only one smacking shit out you. Nigga ain't tolerating them. Nigga get to the handle business. Hop out. I wanted to see, like, um, I wanted to go search, uh, like, the 10 most dangerous city, right? But it gave me 11 most dangerous city. But we just gonna go to, like, the most recent. So they got Memphis at one, Kansas State, Mississippi. Um,. Milwaukee, damn, Milwaukee get down, I ain't even surprised, Cleveland, Ohio, sheesh, Cali, New Mexico, Indiana, and uh, yeah. here. On your foot stomp, I want to do a step. You ain't got a back, then you can't come on the drill. I took my lick when they shot and fuck this, what it is. No, we're increasing the violence, violence drop every year. Bro, I want to ask, because I heard about the incident in Monroe. In the situation yeah. that took place, and so I guess in this in this life that you live in, you you can't really ever post your location, yeah. Nah, but I don't give a fuck though. That was just a battle. Yeah. I don't give a battle. The battles in war. Pull up, drive my little. It was a battle, but you ain't lose the war. Cause yeah. it's a lot of battles until the war ends. Drive my little, pull up, and we gonna bang, bitch. I'm tired of looking for you. Yeah, we know what we got going on. Tommy 
Donne, on va ma régler la cunia, ma réglo bac pita, ok? Oui. My bad, I want you checking up on Civilians or people in the French Yo, bro, what's the name? The Jail, the Jail. How's the name, bro? Everyone knows. LB, Chris. And, bro, where are we at the moment? Monroe, Louisiana, Southside. Dogville. What's West Monroe known for? <laughs> so, the video, make this shit. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga just made my chest hurt taking that crown to the head like that. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, nigga. I had to rub my damn chest for a second, like. <sighs> damn. Breaking news, Monroe police are on the scene following a shooting at the Walmart Supercenter gas station on Louisville Avenue. Witnesses say they heard well over 20 shots fired. The new folding revolver by Standard Manufacturing has been officially released today. No documents or procedures are... I'm lurking with that glizzard, but I catch on that side. At the last, that played outside, this bitch, he thought he died. But I missed him. Was drove forward close enough? Was not right here, I swear to God. I had this bitch jumping two years ago. <laughs> Lou! Lou! Tell him, bitch. I had this bitch crazy, huh? I had this bitch on fire. This bitch was... Every time I hit outside, is right here. We post it up every day. This whole, this brother, the whole still in this house. Niggas still, niggas can't shot at us when we're, you know, you know how this shit And the reason I've come back to Monroe is, because I've heard it is, again, one of the most murderous cities in the whole of America. Yeah. Why do you think that is? For shit, because they've been swallowed the fool. It's yeah, easy to go to the run down here. It could be a nigga you arguing with on social media. You gonna bump into him one day. One day y'all gonna see each other. Down, down here, you gonna bump into him one day. This bitch ain't that big. Yeah. Say, look. Look, y'all see these bullet holes right here? Put them on these bullet holes right here, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we got bullet holes right here. Yeah, they can't start it up. We got them bitches. They can't right snuck. They can't snuck a little. Hey. They can't snuck a little bitch in here. Hey, man. 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 Hey, and what would you say to tourists visit, visiting Monroe? What would you say? Don't do it. They're dangerous. They rob. Pick a different city to go visit, not Monroe. Basically, what she gonna tell you? Like, don't do it. You gonna come out here? You gonna come out here thinking it's sweet? You gonna get hit? They done. They done killed some homeless people on one sixty five, thinking they got money and hit the guy in the head and killed him. At the home. Uh, the homeless? Oh, it's crazy. I feel a bit on sight now myself. Yeah, it's, it's dangerous. That's why we about to leave. We about to go back to this city because this is real life dangerous. I didn't know it was going to be this dangerous. I wouldn't have never came. With it. And bro, how do you think society looks at people in the streets? Shit, look at it like we ain't shit type shit. Like, um, they look down on us. Basically. But, and what do you think that would be though? Cause shit, we in the street, like, I guess, I guess. They don't see it from a street point of view. Yeah, they don't see it from my they point of view. They don't see how we gotta live. Like, we gotta live from their own point of view. Now they, 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 they look at it different. It's stupid, bro. Like, niggas try to kill us. What the fuck do you want us to do? If they don't get, if we don't get at them, they gonna get at us. Like, that's how it go, bro. Like, our life ain't perfect like y'all, bro. Our mamas wasn't rich like y'all mamas was rich. You feel me? Like, that's how this shit, like, come on, man. We had to go to the store, walk, and shit. If you think about it, that is like the 90s babies growing up. The 90s and 80s baby. Our mom didn't have all this shit. I mean, granted, some people had this shit, but not of our, not all of our parents that had this shit, right? So with that being said, with this new generation and this new AI, all this shit that's taken over, um, I sort of would say you don't really have an excuse no more on why you're still doing some hood shit, some street shit. I mean, I get it. Hey, some people are well invested into this shit, so they will never give it up. But if you think about what he just said, right? Our mom was it rich Our mom We had to go to the store Whatever the case is Like bro We listen nigga I had to wear the same clothes For like Oh not the same clothes But like In rotation type shit You know But um I feel like As you get older I mean Whatever life you decide to choose That's on you 
But I feel like as you get older, you realize the shit that you never had as a kid, and that's what you try to make up for it. You feel me? That's why we get certain jobs. I mean, granted that we get jobs to to pay to pay bills, and we want flashy shit. But in all reality, you also get a job because listen, man, I remember growing up, I ain't never had this, nigga. I'm finna go cop it. You feel me? I'm finna who? I'm on it. And by me saying that, I just feel like I what I probably seen. We're already only six minutes into this, and I feel like I already seen like three niggas rapping. Granted, they might not have the best rap, uh, the best rapping career. Uh, well, what I'm basically trying to say, niggas, if y'all want to sit here on the street, tote these five, you know, do all this extra shit, why don't you put some of that into like, you know, content creating? Like, hit the SoundCloud. Like, like I don't know. I feel like there's some way you guys can find a way to come up. To put real money in y'all pocket Which I'm not saying the money I ain't making on the street ain't real But it just You know what it comes with Like wouldn't you like to live a life Where you don't have to look over your shoulder Wouldn't you like to live a life Where you can raise your little one And not have to worry about I mean the world is kind of fucked up But just you know When your enemies get into them Or anything like that <laughs> Shit like that y'all <laughs> Man, bro, you know how this shit is, man. Like, this shit really gutter, bro. Like, I swear to God, bro, my soul, bro. I'm broke. Like, I've been in my pocket, had zero dollars, came out here, bro. Had no dollars at times, bro. Zero dollars. Had to ask my brother or somebody on the block, let me get a zebra cake or something to eat. Like, this shit real, bro. Like, ain't my fault. Shit, man. My fault. Shit. <laughs> See how shit turned out. I'm clear to what age did you jump off the porch? Eight. Eight years old. Okay. Um, how would your parents feel? Because I guess no one would want their child in the streets. Capacitor course check is okay. See, my mom was dead, so. Sorry to say that. <coughs> my Bro, what was your childhood <coughs> like growing up in this environment? See. Bad. See, me and my little cousin, we used to have. Feel like this nigga look like he could be the next NBA, bro. Not player, but NBA young boy type shit. You feel me? Have a little bop, you hear me? We used to, she used to catch us walking up the street. We used to catch her, you hear me? We young as a bitch. She's older than the motherfucker. We stealing bills, you hear me? Shit. We used to bust out the flip up in the canal, fuck in the canal. We used to jump fish. Come see this shit. Come see this shit. <laughs> yeah, so if you dug in the dicks, you, this is a good spot to duck the dicks at. So what we call the police dicks. See, the canal go farther though. Like, we used to jump in, I'd go fishing and shit. Fishing. Yeah, we used to jump and catch little turtles, fish and shit. Tripping, badass little kids. Me and my little cousin said, we right here. Just doing I'm kid shit. Like this. I'm right here. The hole between, between me and the kids, the, the hole over there on the other side, that would be now dick like this. <laughs> that would be now dick like this. That's how, you, that's how you know you had a childhood, boy. Listen, that nigga, that we under the bridge. I swear, I got my early brother Jay, he lit, lit baby boy, he a youngin, licking the titties and shit. You hear me? We, we all three right. All right, all right, 18 year olds right. will be able to carry a concealed weapon in the state of Louisiana. I believe it's a good thing that 18 year olds uh, can protect themselves now. They passed the law for 18. They gave the young ass dude guns. They know they're gonna use them, bitch. They're doing it because they can't solve the murders on the regular. Yeah, regular it's just, bro, for me, it's crazy about <laughs> It's the most. Murderous state in the whole of America, and you've just changed gun laws for 18 year olds. Can that carry? Yeah, it's a trap. Uh, they doing this, baiting you in. That's all they doing, baiting you in. People are getting raped, murdered, carjacked, assaulted, and in most cases, those people are defenseless. You go kill a nigga, catch a murder, toy, they making money off you every day you in jail. Every day you in jail, they making money off you. This younger guy, like 13, 14, 15, carries big guns. Where they get them from, I don't know. These are prop guns. Ass out. Yeah. 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 Oh, we them niggas who be posted with your real actors. Yeah. 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 They be in your alley. Or you a pussy, you a bitch, and you just like your bad. Yeah, yeah, you just like your bad. I catch a bitch out of bounds and I'm a fuck. Fred Louisiana. Yeah. Poker yeah. town, bitch. Poker yeah. town, you heard me? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Still on that shit. Trench, you heard me? How old is that on there? Come on, man. I'm 18. I'm 21. And this is why they say in some city you don't make it if you're 21 or 19. This nigga said, I'm 18. 
Pretty, pretty you feet 25, my guy. Like, if you make the 25, it, it, you a hoe. Trying to get them. You, just you feet? You make it a feet 25, you a hoe. How old are you, bro? I'm 16. You're 16. Yeah. I got like, shot, like, shot in the chest. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's wild, bro. It's wild, I chill. <laughs> when, when did it get so bad? She is. Twenty sixteen, seventeen, twenty sixteen, twenty seventeen. Was there an incident that sparked from the house? Hang on, hang on. You hear me? We go right here. Yeah, man. I don't hear the members, man. And after that incident, it, it changed. Yeah. Long yeah. So was everyone friends before that? Oh, yeah. 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 Really? Everybody yeah. locked in. Locked in. It'd be like this. Shit, nigga probably fuck around and kill your cousin, your, your close home boy. You ain't gonna just let that ride. You know, let that ride. So shit, once blood gets shed, I ain't gonna never end. I ain't gonna yeah, never blood get shed, shit. It yeah. go for nothing. Mm -hmm. Then the youngest don't grow up in this shit. Yeah, it go generations. It's, it's, it's people that die from less shit, but it just like, <laughs> blood just, it's mandatory. Yeah, think about it, when people get killed, shit. Yeah, drugs, it's like, 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 it's no crying out, like, you know, not nigga, damn, you know. How do you reckon this can end? Because at the moment, to my understanding, there's, there's a bit of a war happening in Baton Rouge. So they can Yeah, they, like, that's what they call it, I guess. But not, there, there's, I guess, two big groups who are very popular in the streets who dislike each other. Yeah. Do you reckon those groups can ever just squash that? Do you reckon that can ever just end? Um. Shit, man. My dog on demon time. He don't want to hear none of that. That nigga like, nah, bro. He owns something too. Do time stop? <laughs> no. I was saying, it'll, it'll squash when, when they you can stop and seek two, it'll when squash. Stop <laughs> when yeah. they, you can stop with new bitches, we'll squash. Yeah. Them. And bro, then how's, how's it ever gonna stop if it's like just get back, get back, get back, man? It's, like, it's forever it's gonna happen. Right, it's not to the whole last man sling. standing, that's what it is. Last, <laughs> that's wild, bro, last man standing. And bro, do you ever, do you ever regret Damn, your we already like 17 yeah, minutes in to this video. My life like, and one thing I'm noticing, the police are everywhere in Monroe. You know, every fucking... I'm seeing them everywhere, bro, and I've been to a lot of places. Yeah, hot, every fucking hot right now. I'm swearing my word, they go to you. No, we're good, we're good. Oh, yeah, man. He nigga took off running. Very smooth. So we're just walking through the hood. They're apparently they have cameras on, on poles around here. And because he was walking around the hood with 20, 30 man deep, three police cars have just rolled up and everyone's dispensed. Stop letting them increase your rates. I used to let them raise my car insurance every year until I found this huge loophole that insurance companies How y'all doing? And how old are you, bro? 20. And what age did you get shot? Uh, 19. What, what was your situation? Some little flu shits. Wire fire. We got caught in. Bro. Oh. Just standing in the road. Have you ever been shot up? Yeah, I've been shot. I've been, been shot, shot two times. You've been shit. shot two times and you're only 19. Shit, shit. Oh, but shit. when you get shot, though, isn't it a case of maybe I should just leave the streets, bro? There's more when, life. When, when I got shot, I ain't gonna stun with you. When I got shot, that shit just made me, like, that you got a yeah, no, like, you got shot, shit, is, you know, you got to focus now, for sure. You ain't regular no more. People been already telling me this, but, you know, I'm still in the streets on some shit in the project 24 eight. Oh my gosh, they really take for a nigga to get here with that bitch to find out. So with that being said, Pazo, would you say you're scared of death? I ain't gonna say I'm scared of death, but I ain't gonna say I'm afraid of neither shit. It is what it is, you know, this is how a nigga living for. Jack, can you have a fear of death? Fuck no. So I'd be scared to die. If everybody don't want to meet Jesus to see who he is, everybody don't want to meet God, why you scared to die? Why would you be scared to die if you just want to go to heaven? Because that's the big question, nigga, we need to be asking. If everybody don't want to go to heaven, everybody believe in God, why you scared to die? Shit, you scared to die. Because we got to die. That's the only thing that's promised. One thing, you're going to leave. If you if you scared, you're going to die quick. Hey, like, you just got to tune yeah. in. Yeah. You scared. in it. It's, it's, I don't even think about it. Cook your wood. I done seen people die. 
ain't shit. I, that shit look easier than what, what we going through. Yep. Easier than what we living in right now. It's either. Cause you can't feel it. Like it's either. Eat or get eight out here. No, five dollars. I heard you. Doing all right. Hello. Have you seen anybody trying to break into a house that, down the street? Oh no, 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 no. Oh, no. Breaking? No, no, no. Y'all just doing music videos? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it, we, we have very limited information. We just got told a whole bunch of people we're in this general area. That's why we're we figured nah, we're nah. Talk. Bro. Cops stay freaking lying, bro. How the hell one minute you go from, hey, yeah, did y'all see anybody trying to break into this house over there? No, no, we ain't see nothing. Okay, y'all just making it. Okay, okay. Well, we got a call or, you know, we were told there were like 30 niggas out here or some shit. So that's why we up here. Bro, I thought you just said somebody tried to break into the house next door. I, what? Bro, cops be the main one to be lying and telling the truth at the same time, bro. Like, you gonna lie the, you gonna lie the first time. You gonna lie and tell me. Basically, you lying to get me out of my opposition. And then you gonna tell me the truth why you got, well, after you done got me. Talk to you guys. How y'all doing? What's going on? We got a call for a bird. We got a call for a bird. Uh, for a burglary down the street. All right, so I'm gonna tell y'all a quick little story, right? I remember one time I was like 19, right, fresh out of high school. I was already fresh out of high school. Um, we went down to the we there was supposed to be a party, right? We went down to the the house party. Um, the city that so I live in Florida, right? So our the way our city is divided is by counties. So if you know anything about Carter County, you know not the fuck with Carter County. You'll get listen. Ooh, don't do it right so i remember one night we were going to this party and they're like bro and you already know like if you from where i'm from bro you already know the place that you're going uh the location of this party most likely it's already shut down you already know it's shut down by some fugazi shit it's already whatever the case is right so it's like uh, me one two three four yeah, one two three yeah, so there's like four of us in the car, right? Four deep, nigga. So we went to two house party, then shut down, right? So like, fuck it. So we stop at a McDonald's. We get something to eat. You know, we fucking around or whatever the case is. I guess one of my boys start doing some, some stupid shit. And they're like, you know, we finna call the cops. I'm like, all right, man, whatever. We out, right? So we get out. And um, I ain't even gonna lie to you. I know I fucked up. I was speeding, right? I was speeding. And like I said, in this city, you do not really want to, don't test it. Me not thinking at the time, right? I'm like, mm, nigga, I'm just trying to get home at this point. So, nigga, I'm, I'm taking off, nigga. By the time I, like, I'm on this lane going this way. And there's the other lane going this way, right? So by the time I, like, kind of get right here, I see, I see, I see another car is coming. And by the time that car passed me, I realize it's a cop car. So I'm like, fuck. Now, we get pulled over, you know, they ask the, the simple question, you know, like, anything in the car, da-da-da, like, no, woo, like, you feel me, even if you do, it's still no, but I got a homeboy in the back feet that, thank God to this day, we don't really talk like that, but this nigga didn't know when to shut the F up, bro, like, as the cop is acting, the cop is acting the driver, like, you already know, you, you the driver of the car. So in the end of the car, if everybody says no, nigga, that means it's yours. So with that being said, the cop is asking all these questions or whatever the case is, right? And I'm trying to tell him, no, I ain't got nothing in the car. You know, we just we just coming from um, a friend's house, basically, you know, just trying to get home, whatever. It's getting late. So as he's asking all these questions, you got this dumbass dude in the back of my feet talking about, like, he just mumbling under his breath, basically, like, now he's the, he, he the drawing attention. He's drawing attention, right? So now, we're all like, everybody in the car, like, bro, sh shut your dumb ass up, you feel me? So the cop is like, all right, bet, I'm gonna run your, your plate, your license, and all that shit, right? So I'm like, all right, man, not a problem. So, this nigga go run my license or whatever, right? In my mind, I'm thinking, bro, how long can they hold us, right? I'm on this, how long can they can, uh, detain us? Nigga, how far is the police station from here? Like, how long would it take the K-9 to get here, right? I'm on all this shit, nigga, listen. So... So, um, the guy finally comes back with my ID and insurance, right? So he's like, all right, man, you know, I'm going to just, I'm going to just issue a citation. And I'm, I'm like, good, I'm good, right? So I'm thinking I'm going to be on my way. So he's like, but before you leave, I need all you guys to step out of the car. I smell a little bit of marrow. Oh. Hmm. 
Nigga, what? I'm like, officer, that is not what you smell. I had a black lit in here. I, I've been smoking a black. He's like, listen, I get it with the cases, but I'm telling you what I smelled. So, you know, let me. Nigga, search the whole car. Thank God this nigga only found a piece of nugget, bro. A piece of small ass nugget. Not the biggest nugget, the smallest nugget. To me, I thought it was the smallest nugget until I walked up and seen how clothes it was. I was like, that, that is a pretty good little size of dude. You feel me? You probably got a little, little. But, um. Yeah, this nigga searched everything. Thank God he ain't go to, like, he, he popped up the trunk, but my trunk was too damn dirty at the time. So he like, nigga, I ain't doing that. Because that's where, anyways. Um, so once he gets done with all with all of us, right, tell me how this nigga going to tell me. The reason why I searched all you guys and searched the car is because when I was asking you questioning, your friend back there was, was fidgeting a lot. Bro, we were ready to jump this nigga after the cops left. Burglary down the street. A burglary? Yeah. Oh. Oh hell nah. <laughs> yeah, so the reason why me and my partners and everything, while we're talking to you guys, is the person who called. I don't even know where that person is. We got yeah. the whole time. <laughs> and, and, and that's what that's what I was about to say. Y'all yeah, doing a YouTube video? Yeah, we, but y'all haven't seen anybody break, trying to break into a house nah. down the road. Hell nah. Nah. No, no, we've been out there. And that's what I figured. As soon as we pull up, I saw y'all just hanging out, just yeah. enjoying your night. Yeah. More likely this is gonna be. Some bullshit. Yeah. yeah. I'm just being honest with you. Yeah, you're right, though. Honest. You're right, though. You're right, though. Appreciate that, though. Ain't no problem. Appreciate it. Oh, that was wild, bro. I thought that was up to something else. I look for everyone. What we just see. Literally, you said, bro. We just said it, though. Yeah. They can say anything. They can say they, they got to cop anything. That yeah. help. Nah, piece of Y'all want to go to the camera. They got to be watching. That's wild, bro. Perfect, man. We went back down here, though, to the car. <laughs> yeah. Then they see the camera on, so now you got different attitudes. Yeah, the attitude would have been different. You would have been like... Stop rapping on my pot in the air. He's great. Nigga sent a shot at me. I'm pulling up the same date. Better watch you be hanging around there. Still up off your plate. Niggas watch my every move. That's on my son. These niggas gate. I ain't playing with you niggas when we meet up face to face. Ain't no cameras around this way. I want it done. I call up Jay. Have to boast up that my G's a crib. Come grab 448. I ain't tripping. If I got a crash, I'm move up out of state. Yo, bro, what's the name? MGND Jules, man. And where are we at the moment? We're in Morrow City. And bro, do you, do you have to constantly be looking over your shoulder wherever you go? Yeah, you gotta you gotta be cautious there where you go though. In Morrow City, cause you, like I said, it's small as fuck, so you really never know who you bump into. So say, yeah, you gotta you gotta be cautious around a bit though. And bro, do you reckon this lawyer is giving you PTSD? Yeah, for sure. Hearing gunshots every day growing up, shit, being in this shit. Cause they're down there, every party gets shot up down here. Like, you can't party down here for shit. So, I mean, yeah, that shit, that shit'll bring you PTSD though. Oh, shit. Where did you get shot? Shot, I shot my leg, some bullshit. Yeah. Bro, after you got shot, didn't you feel like maybe this, this life isn't worth it? No, I ain't even think that. I lost my girlfriend. I ain't even think that when I lost her, shit. You can't. Oh, but you lost your girlfriend? Yeah, you can't look at it like that. Like, I lost someone on side of me. I'm sorry to hear that as well, first of all, bro. Again, what, what happens now with the girlfriend? Shit, like, same thing, wrong place, wrong time, shit, nigga. You want to murder your girlfriend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, crazy, That's how this life goes, shit, you gotta take whatever comes with it. You can't give up and run from this oh, shit. Oh, how did that affect you, bro? And how long shit, was you together? Shit, me up. Shit, we were together for, like, two years. Like, shit, f me up, but I ain't, I wouldn't show nobody, like, I ain't show, certain people seen me f up, that was around me, but, I ain't showing no outsider, like, hell no. Nah, hell no. Nah. I lost my girl, bro. I'm ready to go sit my ass. I'm getting down. 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 She died in the car with her and three other girls last year. They died in the car with I'm sorry to hear that, bro. Hey, yeah. And how did that affect you? Shit, that's been bad, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That shit really fucked me up. I, you gotta realize I slept on her every night. I like somebody I was close to, so you know. On the back of that bleeder, what would you say is the worst memory you have? Two twenty-five. Two blue down the ground. Two twenty-five day. Two hundred. Twenty-five. What? What? Why is that day, Peter? The cousin died. You got cute. My little partner got cute. So that. It looks like there's a lot of trauma, bro. Like from here standing and speaking to you, it seems like there's a lot that's affected you, bro. I don't need you feeling like him. I be feeling like a dog. Like I just like take the most pain without making no noise. 
Yeah. <laughs> and Paul, when that happens, or that switching your game, do you ever wish you didn't jump off the porch? Oh, when, when you got I shot. I always did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, great, then. Yeah. 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 Came with great shit. Came with great, then. Yeah. 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 He know what's going on before you jump out there, pull before you step in that street. It's bound to happen. It's bound to happen. Now you go down, you know what? You go down right now. But you get shot, that's on you. You get shot. You gotta be ready. No, come with this shit. This will come with this shit. All this will come with this shit, bro. You go to jail for selling dope. I'm getting right go to jail for selling weed, and I'll come with this shit. Yeah, hey. bro. Take your lick. No rat. You gotta take your lick. Okay. When you, when you do lose someone to the streets, what what what's going through your head at that stage? Is it a case of maybe leave the streets or get back? Like what what goes through someone's head when that happens? I ain't gonna lie. Shit. What's your thing like, shit? That nigga ain't Dude, even here, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Imagine, like, you losing, like, bro, if somebody comes to you, like, your baby brother, your child or something. You know what I'm saying? All justice, all justice is given. All right, bro, I know you're doing That's all justice. The justice, the justice for our babies, nigga. That's all justice. It's getting back is all justice. And how do you think they can stop the violence? All right, I'm gonna get at y'all next one. Y'all let me know if y'all want to see me finish this video. Hit that like, subscribe. If y'all do want to see me hit that, if y'all do want to see me finish this video, give me about three likes. You feel me? Other than that, I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Y'all stay safe, stay out the way, and one.